guys, it's Courtney and I am here, as you saw in the title, to do my collective June haul. No one has 86 of these in the comments, so I'm going to keep doing them because they're easier for me and they're extra fun. Plus this month I've done a ton of unboxings, which technically a lot of them haven't gone up in June, but they're going to come up very soon, so be on the lookout. So we're going to start off, we're going to just dive right in like we're going into the lake like we're jumping off the break wall anyway so I'm wearing the same outfit as last time and if you guys didn't see my Dollar Tree video you should check it out because that's part of my June haul and it explains my outfit and my eyeball this eyeball and a lot of other stuff like why I'm so strange you guys should already know that but anyway, this is the longest intro ever. We're going to get into it, and I got a lot of stuff, and I'm excited, and I'm going to show you. Okay. So the first things are the most beautiful things. Excuse me. Mm. So I got these black, super hard to show you, shoes that lace up your ankle, such as these. They are Christian Seriano. I don't know who that is, but I got these at Payless. I got them... Um, on double sale and I got them to wear to the wedding reception no the wedding rehearsal that I had at the end of May which there's a vlog about it you can see it there's pictures of my Instagram there's pictures of my shoes on Instagram there's pictures of me and Allie with the same shoes on on Instagram there's pictures on Instagram go to Instagram and they're so cute and I love them my feet hurt so bad <laughs> at the end of the day I was like dying but they were they're so cute and they're so so it was worth it, and it was only for one day, so it's great. So, look at it, I have pretty shoes. And they were only like 20 bucks with, they were doing like 36, but they were like 20 um, with all the coupons and the discounts and stuff I have. If you guys haven't signed up for Payless's like text alerts, even though it's really annoying because they text you all the time, you should do it because you get like 20% off coupons like once a month, and sometimes twice a month, especially if you're in a month with holidays, so do it. Not sponsored, just pearl tip. That's what I do. The next thing was a practical thing, which I did unbox in one of my weekend vlogs. I'll have it linked if you care. Is this new brand new mirror. Oh. <laughs> Hi me. This is my new filming setup. I have a giant TV screen behind me and that's how I'm staring at myself. And there's my camera. Hi Nikon. Oh and it's dying. Don't look at that. But yeah, new mirror. I left my old one in Jenny's car which you guys uh, heard about in that weekend vlog, so you already know the story, not going to go into it, blah, blah, blah. Like I said, check out my Dollar Tree video. I unbox and swatch a bunch of the Wet n Wild Fergie collection in that video. I'm in the same outfit. It'll be linked in the cards, or as soon as it's up, it'll be linked in the cards. So go check that out if it's not up already. I got a lot of stuff. It's a big one. I also unboxed a Q-Tex unboxing I won a Qtex badge prize from Influencer and that unboxing is up as well and the original Influencer unboxing I can link to if you guys care if you guys haven't signed up for that it's pretty cool it's like reviews and stuff I've explained it in a bunch of videos so I'm not gonna do it here but you guys already know at this point let's see the next thing is from BH Cosmetics I got their Sculpt and Blend 2 Tempe's Breast Set um, it's not in this box anymore. It's in my setup back there. But I am on the fence with these. I don't really like them that much. But I'm giving them a, another try this week. And if they don't impress me, I'm going to declutter them when I do my declutter. And that was $10 down the drain. So what can you do? I also, after hunting for a long time, found a backup of the Wet n Wild Flat Top Brush which I use for my foundation and I love. So I was really looking for a backup because I love this brush and I was hoping the flat top in the BH Cosmetics one would be the same um, consistency and make my foundation look the same and it's not even close. So, got a backup. Let's see. I also have a pair of Ardell Wispies that I got, um, which I wore to the wedding, which are in my wedding makeup that's on Instagram. I'll have it linked if I recall. Um, with that BH Cosmetics, with that BH Cosmetics order, I got two lip liners, which I did swatch and show you guys on in my weekend vlog where I unboxed those brushes. 
and they're super pretty. They also make that really satisfying popping sound. Ready? Uh, so this one is rosy, and I have been wearing this one a lot. It's like a really pretty rosy color. And then the other one is called Rouge or Rogue. I call I say Rogue because I like it better. And it's just a really pretty like deep wine color, which I'm totally feeling like all the time. The next thing I got were from Marshalls and they had Stila lip glazes. Oh, I'm just kidding. This is our Magnificent Metals lip gloss and this was on clearance. Um, and this is in the color Citrine and it's just a really pretty like goldy color. And Stila's packaging is so pretty with the hearts on it. And it doesn't have that stupid brush tip applicator that I hate. Um, it's really soft. It smells like vanilla. It just gives like a subtle shine. You can't really even see it in the camera. But it's really pretty. And it's not really sticky. It's not really sticky. Um, it looks really pretty. And there it is. I also got a Marvelous Moxie Buttercream from Bare Minerals. And this is in the color... Moody Berry, which I thought was appropriate for my life because if you know me in real life, I'm cranky all the time. It looks super, super black on camera, but I swear it's like a berry color. Um, this is really a lip gloss. It's, I don't know what I was thinking it was going to be, but it's super pretty. It's just like a berry lip gloss, but it bleeds outside my lip line. Um, it's really sticky. And I don't really, I'm not like a huge fan of it, so I might get rid of this or pass it on. But it was just, the color was really pretty, and I liked the name of it. So I wanted it, and it was on sale for like $4.50, so I got it. The next thing I got is, ooh, ColourPop. I, I won a ColourPop giveaway from um, Amazing Life on Instagram. She also has a YouTube channel, which I'll link down below, and that video. Her name's Macy. You guys should check her out. Um, but she sent me a bunch of ColourPop stuff which I unboxed and she swatched in a different video. So you guys can check those out. I'm not going to like get into it. Also, I got, I actually, I also got a palette from Sephora. It's the Sephora collection. And I don't know what this is called. Um, one of my coworkers bought this because one of her, her sister or someone started working at Sephora and she went in and they were like, I don't know if they get paid at commission, on commission at Sephora or what, but she bought a palette because she was trying to like work their eyes and you know learn and she got super frustrated and she just didn't want to anymore and she didn't want it around so she gave it to me so I sanitized it and it's super pretty the uh colors aren't as they look super pigmented when you swatch them but like when you actually use them they're kind of annoying but I think this would be a really good like one month one palette palette mm -hmm. or a really good uh, palette to pan like next like in my to add into my project pan so you know wiping up the swatches the next the next thing that I got <laughs> is the Manny MUA Makeup, Makeup Geek palette which oh it's so beautiful have you guys used this you probably have because I bought it in the restock and I think that this is permanent now. I don't remember. I know his Ofra lippies are permanent, which there's a whole video on that if you want to check that out. But it, these are beautiful. Like, Insomnia, mmm. Yes. So I've definitely been using this a lot in my makeup look. So if you guys do follow me on Instagram, you're probably sick of seeing this palette. But I'll try to link this down below if I remember. And I have one more thing, and then I'll let you guys go. So, the most important thing in this video is this empty bag of Kilwin's Seafoam. It's dark chocolate. So, if you guys have never had these, it's basically... How do I even describe this? I don't know. Seafoam is like... It tastes like... Uh, kind of like butterscotch mixed with caramel. And it's like foamy. But not like foamy. It's like a solid foam. Um, so I add baking soda to it so it like fizzes and then it hardens and they put chocolate over either dark chocolate or milk chocolate and I always put the dark chocolate because it's better but it's so good. It's This is also going to be my June favorite so if you guys just watched that you've already saw a bunch of this stuff but it's awesome. 
if there's a kill one near you, you should go check it out or you can make it on your own. There is like DIY recipes and stuff on Pinterest and all that stuff. I'll try to link some down below and I'm going to probably have a video DIY tutorial for Seafoam because I really want to learn how to make it. Anyway, that is my entire haul for June. It wasn't as much stuff. There's actually a lot more stuff than it seems because I did like three separate unboxings. Also, I didn't mention, but I got a BFF BeautyCon box again this month. And it was Candy Johnson, so there is an unboxing for that as well. Either already up or coming soon, and that is included in this June haul. And there was a lot of stuff in there, so get ready. Hold on to your panties. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like collective hauls like this. It's definitely fun and it makes me realize how much I spend on makeup and stuff. But I did pretty good this month. I didn't buy a ton of stuff. I did, but hi. Eee! So I hope you guys enjoyed this video like I already said. I have all my social media links down below. Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, Instagram, and my Snapchat. If you guys want to hang out with me anywhere else, you can also subscribe to my channel if you're not already. See my face more often. It does some crazy things. Sometimes I actually wear a shirt. Hey, whatever. And I hope you guys are having a great day, week, weekend, whenever you're watching this. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, you guys.